here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of you a great Thursday, Gabe. Curtis reporting on December 29th, brought to you by Valley Insurance. We're now in downtown on Grand with open enrollment through January 15th. Those highs have topped out into the mid to the upper 30s for much of us today, with that exception for that cold spot, 32 in Joseph, Warmington to Pendleton at 48. And out the door this evening into the Grand, it is dry from this particular view, but there are a few isolated rain and snow showers out there, which will become widespread across our region overnight tonight and form into a period of steady moisture, dropping much of us into the upper 20s to lower 30s, with that exception for that cold spot 26 in Baker, coldest out towards Ontario and into Pendleton, mid to the upper 30s. I'm expecting a dusting of snow as low as Ontario, although remaining rain in Pendleton. If you get up above 2,000 feet into much of our mountainous valleys, I'm expecting one to two inches of snow. In fact, once you get out towards Burns, roughly right around that 4,000 foot level, we could easily see two to five inches. And that's not even completely out of the realm of possibilities out towards Meacham, but definitely up above that point and into Tollgate is likely. We could see upwards of five to 10 inches up above 6,000 feet. Heading into the day tomorrow, much of us will be tapping into the upper 30s to lower 40s for much of us, with that exception for that warm soft 52 in Pendleton. I'm expecting that steady moisture to break up and become scattered by dawn up towards the north, although remaining fairly steady throughout the day out towards our south, especially the second half of the day. John Day and especially Burns could see an additional one to three inches of snow before that transitions into a mix of rain and grapple. Same trend up towards the north, although since it will be much drier, I'm only expecting an additional dusting to an inch of snow either during the morning or evening hours. At the end of the day tomorrow for LeGrand, it looks like this will start out into the low to mid 30s at the 8 o'clock hour. There will be a few light snow showers in around, but overall, Decent amount of dry time mixing in with those sun breaks. Breezy southerly wind flow to start up to 35 miles per hour in spots before that becomes light by the evening. By the time we hit midday, even less precipitation, but much more cloud cover is expected to move in, meaning I can't rule out it could be thick enough just to produce a few raindrops, but it really isn't until later in the afternoon that we see more shower activity move through, starting as a mix of rain, snow, or grapple. But by the eight o'clock hour, that should just be steady and it should just be snow, but it will start out not accumulating, but it should become light accumulations into the late evening hours and overnight as we drop those temperatures into the lower 30s, mainly dry into Saturday as those highs reach right around 40. Not a lot of sunshine. In fact, some of us could be dealing with fog and clouds stubborn to clear, which could produce a slight chance for an isolated flurry or sprinkle. As we have my 7-day forecast, similar trend continues into Sunday and Monday despite more sun breaks and cooler temperatures, although much of us will be remaining dry as those highs cool back into low to mid 30s and overnight lows low to mid 20s start the first half of next week. Our next likely threat for just a little bit of snow would be next Tuesday morning and Wednesday evening, but even so, only areas will pick up a dusting to an inch. It's not really until Thursday that models try to bring in a stronger system. If precipitation moves in early enough, we can maybe see a few inches. Otherwise, more rain expected to mix in during the day as those highs warm back into the upper 30s and lows into the upper 20s the second half of next week. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecast in Guinea here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to the folks down at Valley Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast and I will be back tomorrow.